In the next half hour, three rowdy couples try to outdo each other with salacious remarks in television's sanctum sanctorum of bad taste, the nearlywed game. And now here's your genial host, Jerry Genial. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, young lovers, and welcome to another edition of television's most amusing gross out, the nearlywed game. Tonight, three bewildered young couples on the eve of their weddings match wits to win prizes specially selected to match their personalities. Johnny, what have we got for our contestants tonight? Jerry, all three of our lovely couples win a year's supply of new clogged deodorant, the antiperspirant that reaches every area of embarrassment because you drink it. Only new clog works internally to seal every pore in your body. Jerry? Thank you, Johnny. And now let's meet tonight's enchanting couples. Couple number one met in the locker room of the Muncie, Indiana YMCA following the Wednesday night volleyball game. Meet couple number one, Doris St. Clair and Shepard B. Morris. Shepard, weren't you a little surprised to see Doris in the locker room of the YMCA? Oh, uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I was, Jer. I didn't even know she was a Christian. <laughs> now meet couple number two, who may look a little familiar because you just saw them a few minutes ago on the dating game. During the station break, he proposed and she accepted. Welcome back, Charlotte May Schmucker and Marvin Musk. Well, kids, this is really a, a case of love at first sight. You said it, Jerry. I never met such an overpowering masculine male. Uh, she's a bit of an animal herself, Jerry. <laughs> Keep it up, kids. This show thrives on that kind of material. Now meet couple number three. Couple number three met at the 10th anniversary reunion of Romper Room graduates in Sandusky, Ohio. Say hello to Shirley Chickowitz and Billy Bob Twilling. How about you, Shirley? Love at first sight? Oh, yes, Jerry. I saw Billy Bob with that cute little doobie derby, and I threw up my oatmeal cookies. A heartwarming story, and we'll start tonight's game in one minute, but now some words about our promotional merchandise. What other promotional merchandise do we have to unload, Johnny? Jerry, our second place couple wins the new J&J &J electric rag. Anything your old manual rag does, the J&J &J rag does better. Try this new flameless electric rag by J&J. &J. Ladies, we've stored your fiancés in a soundproof airtight cubbyhole. We'll ask you questions and you answer them like you think your fiancés will. Number one, what will your fiancé say the funniest thing that ever happened when he kissed you? Gee, that's a provocative question, Jerry. Naturally. Well, I guess it would have to be the time he kissed me and accidentally swallowed my bridge. Good answer. Number two, what will your fiancé say? Gosh, we just met a few minutes ago, but he did sneak a quickie out in the hall. And when our lips touched... <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder you're getting married tomorrow. Number three, how about you? Could you repeat the question? What is the funniest thing that ever happened when your fiancé kissed you? When he kissed me? Yes. When Billy Bob kisses me? Yes. Oh, uh, I guess true. Thank you, number three. Now while the fiancé is returned, here's Donnie with another word about our promotional merchandises. Jerry, everyone in the studio wins a one-month trial size sample of new no narrow elbow cream, the semi-transparent ointment that ends the heartbreak of scaly joints forever. Thanks, Johnny. Now our young men are back. We'll start the second half of our game. Number one, what's the funniest thing that ever happened when you kissed Doris? Doris who? You old silly. Oh, uh, funniest thing? Uh, let me think. Uh, <coughs> we're, we're pretty serious. <laughs> uh, don't let that bell ring. Ah, uh, you waited too long. Doris said you'd say it was the time you swallowed her bridge. Is that what that was? Yes, stupid. I, I, I... Number two, what did Charlotte May say? Uh, well, I guess it just had to be a few minutes ago out in the hallway when our lips <laughs> and, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you can always expect the unexpected on this show. Finally, number three, what was the funniest thing that ever happened when you kissed Shirley? Kissed Shirley? Yes. Kissed her, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. True, I guess. That's right, and you're tonight's big winners, and here comes your prize, specially selected for you.
Jerry, it's a one-owner low-mileage Gran Turismo road machine, complete with road maps, galvanized bucket seats, 